Serving Christ is serving his church. You can't claim to be serving Christ. How are you serving him? He said, what you did to the least of this, my brethren, you did it to me. Am I communicating at all? So, selfish people won't want that kind of commitment. They won't want that kind of commitment because that kind of commitment takes from them. That kind of commitment takes from them. You know, brethren suddenly are a nuisance to you. Brethren suddenly are a problem. They disturb you. Brethren suddenly, you don't have tolerance. When you see brethren, you are allergic. You feel an allergy to brethren. I need to examine your salvation. I need to really examine your salvation. Because for all that may be, we may not be having the same DNA. We may not be born of the same parents. Because if we are born of the same parents, we should be able to joyfully see one another. And we should be happy to relate you to one another. Am I talking to somebody here? Yes. If we are born of the same parents. If we are born of the same parents. Even if a brother is always in your face, you will have some level of tolerance. Some level of tolerance. Because that's what fellowship does. Fellowshipping together as the body of Christ allows people in our space. It allows people in our space. In fact, sometimes it allows people to take advantage of us. Sometimes. Because when we are relating, there are moments where we take advantage of one another. I'm not saying as a lifestyle, but there are those moments. That's what relationship comes with. A man that does not want interference should not marry. Is it not true? The moment you marry a woman, you have given up your rights for privacy. The moment you marry a woman, because marriage is a relationship, you've given up your rights for privacy. She will enter the bathroom and see you showering. She said, ah, so you have a pimple on your back. She wouldn't have done that if you were not in a relationship of that kind. So, the moment you join a church by being born again, you have given up your right for privacy. Brethren are going to come into your space. Brethren are going to visit your house without invitation. They will just appear. Bro, what did you cook? What did you cook? What did you cook? Because they have come to their brother's house. Have they not come to their brother's house? Bro, what did you cook? Did you cook something today? I am hungry. You are not ashamed when you are in your brother's house. Am I talking to somebody here? That is how we should relate with one another. You visit a family. Morning or morning or how are we? Bless you, bless you, bless you. Ah, um, the mother of the house, is there anything? The man of God is hungry. Yeah, it's part of being brethren. It's part of being brethren. It's part of being brethren. That's what we that's why we are a family. Except you are not born of God. Except you are not born of God. So now you need to make up your mind. Are you really born of God? Because that's important. It gives us the opportunity to be able to budge into each other. Of course, we respect each other, but there are moments where we budge into each other. There are moments where I just feel like I want to see this brother. There are moments where I just feel like I've not seen this sister for a long time. Hey sister, what's up? Are you okay? Bless you, we've not seen. Let's see after service. It's part of the family. It's part of the family. But when you find out that you are allergic to brethren, you need to check your salvation. You need to carry your salvation and put on a, is it barometer or thermometer or what? 